Today's review is going to be Knob Creek Single Barrel. And there's more to that fine print on there. It's Matt from Bourbon Banter. It's 2020. I'm going to do a review that's not even cracked open yet, so you're going to see the mess that this wax does once I tear it apart. It's the Knob Creek Single Barrel Reserve Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, small batch, aged nine years, 120 proof. Read it right there. <clears throat> Never seen this bottle before, so I had to buy it. Picked it up. I know I paid a shitload of money for it, way over MSRP, but doing a little research on this, MSRP was 45 bucks in 2017. It ain't 45 bucks anymore. So, had a little wild hair up my ass the other day, went to go look for some bourbon, see if I can get something. Found this one sitting on the shelf behind the counter with all the high-end allocated fucking ones that pay way too much money. Well, I paid way too much money for this, but if you kind of break it down, I paid about 80 bucks for this, 85, something like this. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Yes, they do make a single barrel Knob Creek and their regular release. And I think it's probably 45, 55 bucks. Uh, this one has been around since at least 2017. And the guy just held on to him. And he suckered me in. So I bought two. Fucking stupid. But I did it anyways. This may taste like shit. I've never even tasted it. So we'll see how this goes. So you ever have one of those days where your wife puts new doors in upstairs, new stairs, fucking dust everywhere, eyes are burning from all the crap floating around, trying to clean up tabletops, countertops, floors, you're sliding around because of all the dust, and you just want to go outside. You go outside, and there's a fire blowing right towards you. So the first thing that comes to my mind I'm going to have a shitload of ash in my fucking pool, and that's going to be fucked up. So you can't even be, go outside. I'm stuck. I'm like walking around like a rabid dog in a cage, not knowing what to do. So I finally just said, screw it. I'm going to start drinking. All right, I'm going to open this thing up. I'm going to, while opening it up, I'm going to give you, say, look at all this stuff just falling everywhere. Oh, no, I'm creepy. Why do you make it so fucking terrible here? It's like, it's like plastic falling everywhere. It makes me sick to my stomach. But my house is already a mess, so I'm okay with it. I'll just slide this off to the side and hopefully I don't forget it. So like I said, I went and picked this thing up, paid way too much money. I had a feeling I was paying way too much money. I knew I had it. I, I knew I was paying way too much money for this, but this is an older bottle. This is probably released in 2017 shit, probably even 2016. Sitting in the bottle doesn't age it, but I'm wondering if this tastes just as good as what they're, or better than what they're putting out. It's a Jim Beam product, 120 proof, aged nine years. Mashville is gonna be 77 corn, 13 rye and 10 malted barley. I gotta say malted barley because I fucking mumble and I can't, I don't even understand when I say it. So I gotta say it like that so it comes out okay. MSRP is 45 bucks in 2017. I paid way, I paid double. I pay, okay, I did it. I paid double, but five years later, inflation, Biden's inflation. So if anything, if I kind of do the math right, I probably paid about 20 bucks over. Ish. Only because one, it's an old bottle that they probably, they don't make it anymore, but they do make it a little bit different. I'm in. Fuck it. I took a hit. My bad. And I asked my buddy Jason, Dalai Lama of whiskeys, and he goes, "Well, you know, they don't make that exact bottle anymore, so it's got to be." Something a little bit different because, yeah, it's like the slow change of things. And maybe this is so much better than what they have out now. So I'm doing it. 
I went and got it. Figured I'd try it. And if I can, I'm gonna parlay this baby into doing a cigar uh, review. Because every time I do do a cigar review, I'm probably pretty fucked up. And I start rattling off, and I've done them, but I say so much shit that just, I, I know YouTube will just censor me and shut me down. Can't do that. I only got 38 subscribers, so not like I lose a lot of people, but if I'm trying to build this channel, I can't do it being censored. I went against all my rules of paying for this thing, but I think I'm paying, I paid more for how old the bottle is and the rarity of this bottle because they don't make it anymore. And I kind of glanced on some of these websites and this bottle specifically, I've seen people asking three, 400 bucks for it. So if I look at it that way, I scored on the rarity, but you buy bourbon to drink and hopefully it tastes good at Knob Creek nine year, just the regular hunter proofer, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be Knob Creek, they're doing it great. So here we go on the nose. I got sweet, I got brown sugar on that thing. A little bit of leather. All right, I'm going for the sip. Maybe a little apple. All right, here we go. Mind you, I just opened it up. Yes, they do need to breathe. It doesn't breathe sitting in the bottle sealed up. So here we go. All right, on that sip, very good. Mind you, I just put a lot of variables in on this uh, review. I already had dinner. Normally I do my reviews before dinner so I don't taint my palate. So I'm doing this after dinner. Why? Because I got too much shit going on in my house. I don't, didn't have the time to do it. I was lucky to get some food. So here we go. I'm going to go for a second sip. See if I get anything good on it. And like, I like the first sip. It was like vanilla. Maybe some brown sugar. I'm going to go again here. Yeah, right on that one there. Second sip. Very sweet vanilla. Very sweet. With a little bit of syrup on there. You know, like pancake syrup. Brown sugar. That's at the front of the palate. This thing uh, doesn't taste 120 proof. I don't feel the heat. I get a little warmth of a hug, but nothing crazy. And like I said, I'm just moving things around, trying to see what I can get here. I get a little apple on that, a little uh, brown sugar. And i uh, going to do a, another sip here and see what I get off it. All right, third sip. I'm going to give you a fourth, but right now, it doesn't do a crazy set of coating on the tongue from side to side, but it's about a medium coat. Front, I'm getting that sweet vanilla, a little bit of syrup, a little bit of that brown sugar as it moves back and it kind of settles in on the finish there, just kind of to the back of the palate. Getting some cinnamon, oak, and leather. You know, it's a very sweet oak. I'm getting a little bit of warmth out of that thing. So I might be getting a little bit of rye on there, yeah, but it's 120 proof, so a little uh, light rye and a little bit of uh, proof there. It just kind of sits, and this finish is lasting. It's lasting for a long time. That cinnamon, that's kind of fading pretty quick, but it's uh, kind of finishing up with the uh, cinnamon, oak, and leather. Cinnamon fading faster than the oak and leather. So this is good very good bottle i'm glad i bought it you know i feel okay about paying that price for it and i'm so fucking stupid i bought two he only had two left i did it maybe the guy was just holding on to it thinking yeah i'm going to raise the price on this thing i'm going to make some money off it maybe he's right he made it i bought it so i'm going for another one see if i catch anything else before i give you a summary all right that fourth one still got a little bit left Right off the front, it goes sweet vanilla, syrup, a little bit of, you know, got some brown sugar, then it just translates right towards the middle of the palate, towards the back, getting that cinnamon, oak, and leather, and it just kind of settles in there. Getting a little bit of a hug, it is 120 proof. Getting a little bit of cinnamon, oak, and it's, it's a sweet leather 
taste to it. And that's it. Yeah, it's good. Maybe a little nut in there, a little peanut in there. Maybe. I think I'm, you know, a little peanut leather in there mixed together. It's a goddamn good bottle. I'm glad I bought it. I'm sure it's a collector's items. And if I had multiple people, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of followers, they probably want to buy my other one. But I don't. But I haven't opened it. So if I ever make it big with the big league guys, who knows? I'm probably just going to only have 38 followers for the rest of my time here. Call it quits. This is definitely on my scale. I'm going to say it's a seven. It's good. Price wise, you know, I, I paid a lot of it, but it is a five year old bottle that's been sitting on a shelf for a very long time while the liquor store owner just keeps cranking it up every year. Uh, with inflation, with uh, Brandon fucking things up, I'd say it's about a $70 bottle only on the collector item scale. But you can get these things, the uh, single barrels, nine years, I think it's nine years, 120 proof. You can get them for 45, 55 bucks. That is a great deal. And I'm sure they taste pretty damn close. I don't have one, I can't compare it. I'm sure they taste pretty damn close because Knob Creek, Jim Beam, they're pretty consistent. They're consistent, just like, you know, the, the Russell uh, father and son duo at Wild Turkey and all like Old Forester. They're consistent with making their product. And that's what a lot of people look forward to is the consistency. For the most part, this is a definite buy. So I'm gonna give it a six and a half on this one. It's good, it's tasty. And I bet you it'll taste better with it being open for a little bit. So if you like this, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. If you have any comments, leave me a comment. Tell me I did it all wrong. I broke my golden rule. Six and a half on my scale, which is damn good rating. Maybe even a seven. It's probably maybe a 6.75. No, I want to be specific, but it's between six and seven. You know, it's definitely, if you can find this bottle, if you can get it for 60, you scored 80. Yeah, you paid for it, but I think this is more of a collector's item now compared to the more current ones. If you can get, if you want to get a current one, which is probably going to taste pretty damn similar, if not better, maybe worse, you never know. It's probably pretty damn close. You're going to pay about 45, maybe 50 bucks for it. Get it. Knob Creek, you can't go wrong. It's going to be consistent. It's going to be good. It's going to be flavorful. And it's a definite buy. So I'm Matt. Hopefully this helped you out. Knob Creek, single barrel. Get them. They're 120 proof, probably, you know, in that range now. But mind you, this is a five-year-old bottle. Enjoy the drink, share it with your friends, and just be responsible. Peace, out.